G'day everyone, in this video I'll show you how you can create stingers and overlays for use within mix inputs. This is a feature that's been available since vMix 28. These can be set up and controlled by vMix shortcuts and via the vMix API. Mix inputs can be used to create mini productions within your main production, and you can check out our video on mix inputs linked in the description. So let's quickly set up a mix input in vMix, and we can do that by going down to the add input menu and clicking on the little arrow next to it. Then select Mix. Now we need to add a preview and an output to it. So I'm just going to select Petrol Cam 1 and Petrol Cam 2. Now I'm going to quickly just put this in the preview so you can kind of have a bigger picture as to what that mix looks like. Now, if you wanted to, you can select a stinger from the customizable transition menu down here, like so, and then use it in your mix. And as you can see, those will transition using a stinger but I'm gonna show you how to set up with the shortcuts. Now, when thinking about this feature, we didn't wanna add extra clutter to the production because having 15 mix inputs that had stingers and overlays and stuff as well was gonna make things a little bit hectic. So we've added them as shortcuts. So in order to add the shortcuts, we just need to go up to the top right, go to settings, and then go down to shortcuts. And we're gonna click add, fine. And I'm just gonna use the space bar today for this one. Now for the function, what I'm going to do is select transition and then make it Stinger 1. Now for the input, we wanna select Preview because we want the Stinger transition to happen between the preview and the output of the mix. Now underneath that, you'll see Mix. Now this is important because you'll need to assign it to a mix. Now by default, this is going to be number one as most people will wanna use their Stinger transitions or their overlays on Mix 1. Mix 1 is your main vMix output. So the main thing that you're going to record and stream that is going to be mix one. Now we've just added mix two into our production. So we can also select that if we wanted to. So I could select mix two. And by doing that, it means that it will work on mix one and mix two at the same time. It's not really what I want. I just want it to be on mix two. So I'm going to deselect mix one. So it's only going to work on mix two. All right, so I'm gonna make this a local shortcut, click okay. Click OK. So now when I press the space bar, it is going to do a stinger transition between the Petrol Cam 1 and Petrol Cam 2 on Mix 2 only. So there we go. So that's now working with the press of a shortcut. All right, cool. So let's do overlays now. So let's go back up to settings, go to shortcuts, and then go to add. Let's find, let's go to the Z key here. And then for the function, what we wanna do is select overlay. So I'm going to go to overlay, and then I'm just gonna go overlay input one, because that's just an easy way to toggle it on and off as an example. Now for the input, I'm going to select my title, which is input six here. And now for the mix, I can choose the main output again, or I could set it up for a mix, or I could do both. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm gonna do mix two as well. So mix one and mix two will both overlay Title number six, when I press the Z key. All right, so let's just click OK here. OK here. So now you'll see the overlay appear on my program output and my mix two. So when I press the Z key, as you can see, it's appeared on both of them. Take it away. It's appeared on both of them just with the shortcut. Now you can use mix inputs in all kinds of different ways. Things like overlays, like I could do here by adding this to the top corner. And then I could use my Spacebar to do stingers, and then to add an overlay as well with the Z shortcut. And as you can see, it's also appearing in the main program output as well. Now, if I wanted to change that, I could just go back into settings. I could go to shortcuts and I could adjust this to only appear, let's say on mix two. So I can go to here, deselect this, click okay, click okay. And so now when I press it, it's only going to be in the mix two, like so. So that's just a quick glance at how to set up stingers and overlays with a mix input in vMix. I'm sure that you'll end up using them in creative ways that we really didn't even think of, especially if you're working them into existing companion and central control setups. Now, if you're using them in a cool way, feel free to drop us a comment and let us know. If you have any questions about vMix or need support, just head to vmix.com and go to the support page as we can't really answer technical questions here on YouTube. And if you have feature requests, just go to forums.vmix.com and go to the feature requests forums. So thanks for watching and we'll stream you later.